Good afternoon, TEDx. My name is Davida Davison, and I am here to share with you how food entrepreneurs in the city of Detroit are crafting a new economy. And we're crafting this new economy on the simple premise that people aren't buying what do we make. People are buying why we make it. This is a community of food entrepreneurs, and people are starting to take notice of the culture that we have created just this past week. An article was in the Metro Times, and that article said, Detroit business leaders need not fear competition. And it went on to question, do we really need to be in competition at all? How about if we work together to foster more and more businesses along Detroit's Main Street? Maybe, just maybe, we can hasten the rebuilding of our city in a more complete manner. Maybe. And the article went on to say, and I quote, oh, I love this quote. The article went on to say, it is worth noting that in Detroit's craft local food and beverage community, it is void of any competition at all because this is a community. This community of food entrepreneurs helped me. They helped me to fall in love. They helped me to fall in love with my city all over again. And so my love story begins. My love story is a story of tragedy, but it's also a story of love. Love of people, love of community, love of good food, love of nature, but also a love of business. You see, I bought my home my very first home on the south shore of Long Island, New York. And my home was positioned in between two canals, the Hudson and the Woodcliffe Canal, because I love nature and I wanted to live near the water. And in 2012, when Hurricane Sandy came barreling through the East Coast and landed ashore, it destroyed my home, it destroyed my community, and I lost every single thing that I owned, but that hurricane, it led me back. It led me back to my beloved Detroit. And when I came back to Detroit, I noticed a couple of things. The first thing I noticed is that there were parts of this city that looked like it too had been hit by a hurricane. <laughs> An economic hurricane of sorts. But number two, and oh so importantly, I noticed that here, were two communities. My community back in Long Island that had just been devastated by a hurricane and the communities in the city of Detroit, they looked almost identical. And the reason why they looked almost identical is because the same logic was at play. That logic that is willing to sacrifice the very support system that in which life depends is the same logic that is willing to sacrifice people on the economic altar of profit and growth. You know it's that same logic to say, oh no, we can't afford to pay our workers a fair and living wage. It's that same logic that says uh, and works to destroy the middle class. It's the same logic. And ladies and gentlemen, I'm here to tell you, in many cases, it's the same people behind that logic. Those two communities, they may have looked the same, but oh, there was a difference. See, behind me, there's a picture of a sign, and it says, Sandy wins. When you were on the ground in Long Island, there was a picture of a lady, like many residents, who were in the process of just throwing up their hands. I give up, I quit, Sandy wins. But I challenge you, I dare you, to go into the communities in the city of Detroit and you will find something very different. People in the city of Detroit are not raising their hands saying, I quit, I give up. Despite population loss, despite poor city services at times, 
despite the fact that their neighborhoods have been destined and devastated. They're winners, and that's who we are. That's who this community of food entrepreneurs are. We are a microcosm of everyday Detroiters, hundreds if not thousands of Detroiters, who live their lives every single day by our city's motto, and that is we hope for better things. And that is who we are at the organization where I serve proudly as the co-director, Food Lab Detroit. We are a community of food entrepreneurs who are committed to making sure good food and good food businesses are a sustainable reality here in the city of Detroit. And everything that we do, all of our programming that we do, supports our mission. Our programming can be found in what we call the three C's. It's a model that our founder created. And the three C's are cultivate, connect, and catalyze. So yes, we cultivate. That means that we do help entrepreneurs get started with their business. But here is how we cultivate businesses. We help them to start their businesses in a way in which they can give back to the greater good in their day-to-day -day business operations. That's why we created Detroit Kitchen Connect. Because what we wanted to show entrepreneurs is how does it feel to be involved in what we call a shared economy? How does it feel to be involved in what we call collaborative consumption? And we wanted to show folks that what we are doing is what Detroiters do every single day. When you don't have money, you turn to your neighbors. So we turned to churches and communities and said, can you open up your doors to us, in many cases for free, to help our entrepreneurs start, grow, and scale their businesses? And they said, yes. The second thing we do is we connect. Yes, we connect entrepreneurs in the kitchen, but we also connect entrepreneurs to each other. We have a very diverse body of businesses at Food Lab. So it's important for us, for them to connect, because businesses who are working together is better for everyone. We connect them at our men membership summit. We connect them at classes and workshops and seminars so that they learn together. And then the last thing we do is we catalyze. At our membership summit last year, we came together and we voted on a common goal. And that is to help other food businesses who needed to navigate the licensing process to be able to do that. So we gathered all the resources and we sat at entrepreneurial roundtables. We went out to the community and we helped entrepreneurs. We sat on panels and we answered questions. See, you have to understand, ladies and gentlemen, that this is not some touchy-feely, hippy-dippy way to do business. This is how you grow a sustainable local food economy that encompasses everybody. It's about love. It's about compassion. It's about relationships. And guess what? I think folks are starting to notice. Because just earlier this month, I had the opportunity to stand on stage at the palace in front of thousands of people who gave me a standing ovation. Not just me, but my organization. And someone by the name of Oprah Winfrey said, I believe in you. I believe in your organization. I believe in the people of the city of Detroit who are not looking outside of their community for economic salvation. They're turning and they're looking to each other. I believe in you, and I just want the nation to know it. So who are we? Who are we? We're this community of entrepreneurs who are changing the food economy because we know that in order to change the food economy, in order to change the nation, we have to be the change that we want to see. And we are the change that we want to see here in the city of Detroit. Thank you.